Hello and welcome back to the Regimentals YouTube channel. Today I'm in the office just preparing for an update. We uh, recently had a visit from a collector who was selling a lovely helmet collection. Uh, we managed to buy all of the helmets. So as you can see, we have um, roughly around 24 helmets uh, on the table here, um, all recently purchased. We also managed to buy a nice collection of armbands as well. Mostly political, but some uh, other um, armbands as well. Within the helmet collection there was a, an array of all different uh, types. There was army, Luftwaffe and there was a couple of navy helmets as well. There were single decals and double decal helmets. There were police helmets. They were just all honest clean helmets and you could see that one collector, the same collector, had accumulated all these helmets because they were all of a, the same standard. Um, as you see when they're on the website some of them have names inside, history of which American soldier brought them home. Particularly nice ones are the camouflage helmet. It's got like a lovely green textured camouflage on it. There's a helmet with wire on it as well. Um, there's some Luftschutz helmets, but a very nice, it's rare now to find a collection of helmets like that. We recently picked up a lot of helmets in America. We were fortunate at the recent show, the SOS show, to get, to get helmets. But for a long time now, helmets have been very hard to find. So, yeah, great stuff for the website. Um, as with most things in military, the prices are shooting up, so you'll start to see uh, helmets that used to be £1,100 now being 1350 So prices are going upwards, but that's just the way it is with all military. It's good for those guys that have uh, collections, not so good for the younger guys who are starting to collect now. Other things on the table here that you see um, coming into stock is this lovely set of Austrian trench clubs. Austrian trench clubs are very popular and quite, quite brutal looking things, um, but they always sell very quickly. So I would have thought that will go quite quickly on, on, on the website. Just above it here is a very nice uh, German World War II uh, Navy um, visor cap. Again, another piece, the reason I'm featuring this is because it's another piece, they always used to be £1,800, £1,900, and in the last sort of two or three years, they've shot right up to 2500 I sold my own one from my own collection recently for £3,000. Um, it was a particularly nice one, but yeah, that is the price. And then, of course, when you find them with a white top like this one, then they're even more money. I think this one's on the website for about 3600 but white tops are particularly rare. What's interesting about white tops is that people say, oh, it's a U-boat captains. That, that's not true. Um, that, as far as I know, there's no designation for why some had white tops, some didn't. It's not just the captain of the U-boat had a white top cap. So some lovely German Navy items going onto the website. Very exciting. Um, moving away from the German stuff, um, I've got this lovely a2 jacket, US Air Force A2 jacket. Now I picked this up in America. Got lovely artwork on the breast here and also on the back, lovely artwork with all the bombs showing how many missions um, that this person completed. And what's interesting about this is after I bought it, we did some research and found out that this squadron was based in Bassingbourne, which is literally about 15 minutes from us. Um, and it was one of the units which had the heaviest casualties during World War II. The 91st, they, they completed 35 missions and there's 35 bombs on the back of this jacket, which means that this particular guy who wore this completed all of their missions. Um, so this is a really nice piece and really attractive to look at as well. And that will be going on the website for £3,500, but it is a particularly nice A2 jacket. Very nice. Um, going back to German World War II, another nice piece that I picked up is this honor goblet grouping. Now, honor goblets are always popular. They're an iconic piece, lovely to look at, nice to display. Um, and this particular group is to a guy who was in a reconnaissance unit. Um, it's got his side, it's the goblet. There is three um, flight bars, reconnaissance flight bars in their boxes. Um, and it's got his citations, which are untrimmed. Luftwaffe citations are quite often trimmed down to fit into uh, wartime frames uh, because they were a large citation. But these are the untrimmed citations. And one of the citations is actually signed by Kurt Student, who was the general of the German uh, paratroopers, which is particularly interesting as well. So just an array of nice things for you to see that are going onto the website. 
Um, we're still updating the websites on Fridays, usually in the afternoon. Uh, obviously, in the, if you're in the United States, it might be when you wake up in the morning. But um, it's quite competitive when it's update day, so make sure you don't hang around. If you make a purchase, please make an effort to sort out your payment as soon as possible. We are now only holding items for up to 24 hours. If we haven't received payment within 24 hours, then it will be made available for someone else to purchase on the website. Of course, there are exceptions. If you are a long-term customer who we've known for many, many years, we know you're not gonna mess us around. It's not such an urgent case, but we are having an influx of people ordering stuff and then within two, three days, not paying us, canceling their order, and it's becoming a bit of a logis logistical nightmare. So if you place an order on the website, make an effort to get your payment sorted as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Uh, please follow us on Instagram and Facebook, all those things. And remember, update day will be Friday. Thanks for watching.